We have done this little family fun day a couple of times. Our Frank Malico got to go to Roaring Camp Railroad in Felton. It is beyond a child's wildest dreams. And Frank, you rode a train that a lot of people don't even know exists, but it's right here in the South Bay. Yeah, it is, uh, gosh, it even surprised me. I gotta be honest with you. Uh, my aunt had a place at Seacliff and Aptos used to drive by it all the time. Never knew it existed, but it's an old throwback camp to the lumber days of 1880s and the gold rush days. Uh, it's beautiful and it features some steam locomotives that every day take a good 3000 kids up to the tippy top of Bear Mountain. Now the ride is fabulous, but I gotta tell you the view's pretty good too. All aboard the Dixiana, a 108-year-old steam locomotive, straight from Tennessee and West Virginia, Smoky Mountains. It's been carting precious cargo at Felton's Roaring Camp Railroad since 1963. The engineer is 60-year-old Phil Reeder. He, too, straight out of central casting. Like I tell people, you know, they all have a soul. They're a living, breathing machine. They're all different. Uh, this little girl here, uh, you know, she's a sweetheart. You know, she'll do just about anything you ask her to do, except maybe climb a tree. Oh, and there's a lot of trees, over 100 acres of beautiful redwoods. Some have been untouched for well over a thousand years. Three plus mile trek up and down Bear Mountain is a half hour journey through time under a canopy of Mother Nature's best. I mean, the redwoods on their own are super majestic, but riding an ancient steam train and the smoke billowing out and just, I mean, it's a its a trip into the past, and especially for the little ones, they just, it's nothing like anything they've seen before. It's not like an Amtrak train. This is like a true deal Old West experience. Campers are greeted with a train whistle in a town that is circa 1880. From the general store to the train station, it quickly turns big kids into little ones, long before you board the train. I want my daughter to experience the same thing that I've always wanted to experience. Yeah, you may have a little conductor on your hands. I think so. <laughs> Although she doesn't know it right now. No. <laughs> on top of Bear Mountain, it's a selfie paradise. The Dixiana, the perfect photo bomber. Kids love it, like the Malones from Carmel. Can you take a fair amount of sausage junctions, but for a 108-year-old steam train, she moves pretty well. <laughs> she moves pretty well. Would you rather be at the beach today or riding the train through the red one? I'd say riding the train. Ah, that's what I thought. One thing about old steam no computers involved. It's not an easy job. The Dixiana burns through over 700 gallons of water in each of its half dozen trips up the mountain every day. Donald Sage is both the waterman and the fireman in the engine cab. Dirty and greasy, and but it's very rewarding. Yeah. It's not, nothing quite like it. So we all believe in the project. We all believe in what we're doing. Although the work is hard, heavy, dirty, and not always easy. I was gonna say, do you have a good detergent at home? Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, believe it or not, I do clean up well. A warning before you go, there's something about that train's horn that is a little contagious, and you might be hearing it long after you get home. Yeah, why not? Woot, woot! You're going to hear it uh, probably for a good week or two after you get home. But what a, what a great place to take the kids, adults as well. By the way, they also have a beach train. It, too, is a steam engine. So if you want to go to the boardwalk, say you're coming from the East Bay, you can park in their parking lot, buy a ticket, board the beach train, and in about 45 minutes after you tour the Redwoods, you end up at the boardwalk. Spend a day at the beach, jump back on the train. 40 minutes later, you're back at your car and on your way home. So I highly recommend it.